Hey guys, welcome to game two between Rancor and Art of Turtle. This is BSL season 12, round of eight. And this is Tau Cross game two, game one going to Rancor. I gotta say, almost in convincing fashion, Art of Turtle did a lot to really make a game of it, but Rancor seemed to do everything right, piece by piece. And really, the getting the upgrades over Art of Turtle was the big close winner in my opinion. That was the, the move that ended up putting him ahead. There were a lot of moves that allowed him to stay in the match and pull ahead, but really having that, that the Mutalisk upgrades really capped it for him. Tau Cross. I think this tends to be more of a Zergling-oriented map. I would actually be interested to see if it went into more of a macro-oriented stage. Primarily because this is a rampless map, and there's just a lot of room to run around to the main. Seeing an extractor trick from Art of Turtle. Waiting to see if he goes for Overlord first. Or if he's just trying to sneak the extra drone out. Opposite side of the map, we are seeing an Overlord opener for Rancor. So, <clears throat> potentially Overpool. Potentially, I would be shocked to see a 12 hatch on this map. He's just relying on empty scouting information. And actually, interesting here. I haven't seen this build in a while. This is going to be a 10 hatch. So, well, technically... I've seen 9 hatch, but 10 hatch. So grabbing the hatchery before the Overlord for Arter Turtle. Versus a pool first, op uh, so an overpool on the opposite side. And I'm going to admit, I don't know how this plays out. I do believe this plays, so just logistically what I know of StarCraft, I believe this plays out with, if scouting holds, a Rancor victory. He's moving out of Drone Scout, moving to that bottom right hand base first. Sees that Overlord, so knows that's where his opponent is. Because essentially he can just produce Zerglings. This hatchery will be too late to cancel. And he can just walk in and... Potentially take that hatchery out. I think. But I'm wondering if on that 10... If that if grabbing it on that 9 count with the spawning pool timing... If that maybe opens up room... To potentially have enough Zergling defense. Where the Zerglings are less of a factor. It's only going to be... Going to be a little bit delayed on the third patch of... Not third patch. On the third... Zergling count. I think, did the drone scout? Drone having a little bit of trouble getting there. It is going to be the full cadre. Spawning pool finishing just now. So you're going to have, what is that, a 40 second delay on the second set of Zerglings. I don't know, actually. This might play out. So seeing the hatchery up, this might play out for Art of Turtle. I take it back. And if so, this is... That's interesting. I didn't realize that countered overpool. If that if that does end up being the case, and it looks like it does in fact end up being the case, the zerglings are sitting there. Huh? You learn something new every day. And today I learned that you can pull off, I guess, like a, a nine hatch against overpool, and it will hold. Wow! A lot of zerglings flooding out from Arbitral. This is a follow-up layer and two creep colonies, yeah, and sunk colonies. Now, this puts Art Turtle in a very strong position. That does delay, 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 delay the layer tech, delay it. <laughs> but Art Turtle has a lot, a lot of larva, which gives him an, overwhelm, uh, an overwhelming amount of Zerglings to follow this up. So, an interesting build that I have yet to see on this map. That Thanks to Art Turtle for that one. I like seeing it. Let's see if he can dive in and get something out of it, though. There are two creep colonies here. Lair is finished. And there's enough room to potentially place a spire here somewhere safely. And essentially what this is going to turn into is something that looked like game one. Zergling starting to push forward. Rancor hiding some of those Zerglings in the background. Now that the Zerglings are committed, they're diving through. There's some offensive creep colonies being planted for Art of Turtle. But it looks like there's enough follow-up. Yeah, Art of Turtle calling GG right there. Well played by Rancor. It's like, okay, I see your... And a perfect response. That just shows some next-level experience and knowledge. It's like, okay, I see your expansion. I didn't go 12 hatch or 12 pool. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this. I'm going to go ahead and get that layer up and jump on the tech advantage. An attempted... Offensive creep colony, realizing that that layer was just going to be so much earlier from Arter Turtle, and Arter Turtle ends up losing it. So game, t so Arter Turtle goes down 2-0 right off the bat. Well played by Rancor once again. And this is going to be an interesting one, just because I, I don't, I haven't seen first of all a nine hatch opening quite often, 
But it's interesting to know that that's defendable against an uh, overpool build, at the very least. Probably not defendable, obviously, against the uh, earlier pool uh, builds. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.